If you are looking to move to Bay Harbor Island, you need to watch this video until the end because I'm going to tell you everything that is happening in this city and of course show you a very nice new project that is being developed here. My name is Daniel Gevaux and I'm a real estate agent here in Miami specializing in helping people that are moving to this magic city. Harbor Island, as the name says, is two islands in the middle of the Biscayne Bay. We are just north of the city of Miami and we are very close to Bow Harbor, Surfside and Sunny Isles. This area is very known for its school. Bay Harbor School is one of the best here in Miami and that's why properties here tend to appreciate more because people just prefer to put their money on the property than spend a ton of money in a private school. The city is divided in two islands. In this one that I am on right now, the East Island, is where you find the multifamily projects. The condos with older properties and of course new developments as the one that I'm going to show you at the end of this video. In the West Island, we are going to find the single family homes. And this is an aspect of this city that I really like because it divides very clearly where you're going to find buildings and where you're going to find houses. This way, if you have a nice house with a nice pool, you are sure that the building next door is not going to block the sun in your private area. Buildings like this one are very new. Since 2014, a lot of new construction have happened here in Bay Harbor Island. Between 2019 and 2022, nothing was really newly developed, but since 2020, new projects are coming up and soon we are going to have new developments to serve this area. Here in Bay Harbor, we had in the last years two moments where new developments came. The first one was between 2014 and 2017, and now we have a new approach of developers developing new constructions here in Bay Harbor Island. Here in Bay Harbor Island, you still can find some older constructions, just like this one. However, they are very well maintained, as you can see. And the reason of that is because owners here, the owners of those buildings and those multifamilies, they take very good care of it because they want to get the best for their money. And since a lot of people want to live here in Bay Harbor Island, to put their kids on one of the best schools of Miami, the better the property, the better the rent. Nevertheless, new projects just like this one that was delivered in 2015 are popping up in Bay Harbor Island. Right now we have at least three new projects and they are all facing the water and sometimes also they are in the dry lots. Here in Bay Harbor Island you can also find townhomes projects just like this one. We have here at least three or four complexes only with townhomes which is a very good deal because you are paying less per square foot because you are in a condominium but still you have that home feeling just like this one that I just passed and that one right there. Because Bay Harbor is in an island you are going to find properties like this one that is developed under a dry lot how we call it and of course you're going to find properties like those ones and in that lot a new project is coming soon facing the water. The east end we are facing Bow Harbor and the projects that are facing the west are actually overlooking the houses in Bay Harbor on the next island. The major difference between one and the other is the price point. While buildings just like that one which are sitting on a dry lot, the price per square foot are between $600 and $1,000. The new ones on the water can go up to $1,500 per square foot. So depending where you are on the island, you're going to pay more. But nevertheless, in any place that you live here in Bay Harbor Island, you're going to have a great quality of life. I lived here for three years. I don't regret it. It's a very nice place. Today is a regular day. It's a Thursday, 3 p.m. And you can see how quiet this area is. The only cars that you see here are from people that live here or real estate agents that are doing content or selling properties. 
Jokes aside, Bay Harbor Island is very good. It's one of the most safe cities here in Miami. This zip code 33154 actually is one of the safest zip codes in whole Florida. The city of Bay Harbor Island is walking distance to the beach of Bow Harbor and Surfside. In about seven minutes, if you are in the north end of the island, you can get to the beach walking. Also, throughout the city, you have the public or the shared bicycle service that you can rent here and give it back on the beach. Also, it's very good for people that want to just bike, use scooters or electric skateboards. The city has a lot of parking for visitors, for people that are visiting the buildings, visiting the city. And as you can see, everybody, nobody has a problem leaving their cars here, even the motorcycles, because this city is really safe. People really love to live here in Bay Harbor Island. And again, one of the most important things that people like here is the school. I cannot say enough how good the school is because that's the major point of the city. And right there, there's a building that is very special for me that I'm going to show you. And this building here behind me is very special because it's the building that allowed me to come to America. A lot of people that followed me in this channel for a long time know that I, I'm from Brazil, you can hear from my, from my accent, but I came from Brazil to build that building. I put a group of investors together, we bought the land and we built that. And that building is the one that brought me to real estate. And that's why I really love Bay Harbor and I really know about Bay Harbor because I did a deep study to start developing that project and during five years, we developed not only that one, but we also bought a um, multifamily project, 20 unit multifamily project that we renovated it and sold with a profit for our investors. So if you are also a investor that, are looking, that is looking for great opportunities to develop, buy something older, renovate and sell, or just build a new project, you can also come to me because I know all the roads here in Bay Harbor to show you which one is a great project. Here in Bay Harbor we have one commercial strip that connects you from the beach to the west on US 1 and that is an amazing feature of Bay Harbor because it's an island but you have two entrances and two exits and every single car that crosses this causeway is photographed and registered. That's one of the things that make Bay Harbor one of the safest cities. So if you are looking for a safe place, this is the one. And now I'm going to drive around Bay Harbor Island in the West Island so you can take a look of how nice the single family house segment is. Here we are leaving one of the islands, the West Island, divided by the canal. And now I'm going to uh, make a right corner, a right turn, and I'm going to go north. And this is the city of Bay Harbor in the single family home segment. You can see that a lot of the houses are very well maintained, very luxury properties and also it's a great place to build your custom home just like this one is there. They, they bought another house they demolished everything and now they are building their custom homes there's several opportunities to do that here there's several houses being built so it's a great area from all of the islands that we have here in miami i believe bay harbor island is one of the best as you can see on the map we have two islands, one on the west and one on the east. The east one is the biggest, is the one with the multifamily properties, the condominiums. And the one that is smaller, the west one, is where the single family homes are. A lot of people like from out of Florida like to buy properties here. You can see they are super private, you can see they are super nice because of the safety of the island. Being safe, people don't mind living in another state, living even in another country and having their houses here. 
as you can see we can find older houses newer houses but it's a neighborhood that in general is very well maintained and that's very good because you want to buy a house you want to invest in a property where everybody else is also taking care is also taking care of because it's everybody is taking care of their properties of course the overall value is going to go up take a look on that super nice here one here we have another one that is already built and we still can find very rarely but we still can find you can see people walking with their dogs taking care of everything we still can find opportunities like this one where you have a lot that is wide open to the bay just like that one. look imagine this lot is 20,000 square feet so you can build a very nice house here just like this big one on this side and Bay Harbor also has a lot of parks so you can bring your dogs you can bring your family you can just walk around the property and this this tip of the island of course is one of the most expensive because you have all this connection here here we have more houses and there we have a construction being done a new house is going to be built here so a new construction, a new property, a new house. And on this side, of course, as you can see, we are the houses are facing the other island. So they are going to be a little bit less expensive than the other ones, but still, you're going to find some of the best properties here in Miami. And now that we did a tour on Bay Harbor Island and you can feel how this city is, I'm going to show you, look at this house. I'm going to show you a new project that is being developed in the best lot in the East Island, the one with the new constructions. This is on the residences here in Bay Harbor Island. We are in the extreme north end of the island. This is the sales center where I'm going to go and this is the building. They are already in the first, second, third, fourth floor is going super fast. It's basically one floor every 10 days. And after that, they are going to, of course, do the interiors. And this building is amazing. One of the best features of Onda is that you have amazing open views of the bay. And if you don't know, the water here in this area is the most pristine in the whole Biscayne Bay because since you come from Miami Beach, this is the first or the only interaction from the bay with the ocean. So the water are constantly exchanging. So the water here is very, very, very clear. Actually, a year ago, I did a video where I jumped in the water to promote this building. I'm going to put it right now. It's waterfront. <laughs> This is the mock-up of the building. As you can see, we are going to have dock slips here. They are for sale. I believe we have one more available. And from the boat here, you can go straight to the ocean, to Sunny Isles, to the south of Miami, everything, because with those views and with that ocean, having a boat is a must. And one thing that I really like about this project is their kitchen. Nine in every 10 projects here in Miami uses Zito Craft, which is an amazing kitchen, but everything starts looking the same. And here in Bay Harbor Island, at all the residences they are using is Night Dero Kitchens, which is one of the top kitchens that you can find. And today we're actually having an open house here with some great food. And of course, don't mind me if I eat something. Give me some words about this amazing project. So, um, Onda is the most luxurious high-end project on both sides of the island. It's an Ugo Colombo project, which, you know, Ugo Colombo prides himself on super high-end finishes. We have the best lot, which as you can see is the east tip of the island. Right there here. are no other views like this. No. Um, you've got the entire open Biscayne Bay, but you also have the skyline of Sunny Isles. So you get water and city skyline. Which is amazing because when you are on the beach and it's, an, an, it's night, it's pitch black. You don't see anything. No. And here, during the day, you can see this amazing blue water. 
and also you can see the the lights of sunny isles Ball Harbor. Ball Harbor, the Ball Harbor Marina right here. So it's amazing. You only yeah. have four units available, right? We only have five units okay. out of the 41. And uh, unlike Ball Harbor and other cities like Sunny Isles and Miami Beach, we're not on a main road. So when you come into the island, you do have a sense of privacy and exclusivity. And again, with such a boutique project, 41 units, eight stories, it will feel like your own private house on the water. It is, in a private island. In a private a island. Reason. And also, we're going to have boat slips here, so you can do yes. like that, dude. On a Thursday, you take your boat and you go wherever you want. So, amazing project, more information in the link below. And the reason we are having this amazing happy hour here is because they are actually shutting down the CEO Center as the construction advances and they only have five units left. And look what we have here, we have the coats, we have this amazing sweets. We have ceviche. We even have sushi. So I can't complain being a realtor if having this is part of my job. This building is going to be delivered in the winter of 2023. So ending next year. And this is a great option for you that wants to buy something that is new but you don't need to wait three or four years to be done. You only have five units, so it's time to move and all the units are flow through, meaning they have a view to the island here inside and also to the bay. So don't miss out this opportunity right now.